Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'll be covering is PHP if else statements. So as we saw in the previous tutorial, which covered just the if statement, we have the ability to evaluate different conditions and let PHP execute a segment of code if that condition is true. Well, what if we wanted a different section of code to be executed if the original condition was false? For example, I know we have all heard someone say, if you do not pay your phone bill, your phone service will be discontinued. Else, your phone service will continue as normal. So let's convert what I just said into a basic PHP if else statement. So what I'm gonna do here is start a comment block because what I'm gonna write here isn't the correct syntax, but it's an easy way of showing you the basic layout for a PHP if else statement. So as we saw in the previous tutorial, I'm gonna start it off with the word if, I'm gonna open a parentheses and say, if you do not pay your phone bill, close my parentheses, open a curly brace, on the next line I'm gonna say, your phone service will be discontinued. And then I'm gonna close my curly brace. Now this is just our basic if statement, nothing new here. But now I'm gonna add an else. I'm gonna spell out the word else. Then I'm gonna open a curly brace. And then on the next line, I'm gonna say, your phone service will continue as normal. And then I'm gonna close the curly brace. All right, so let's quickly take a look at this. Here we say, if you do not pay your phone bill, if this condition is true, go ahead and execute this segment of PHP code. However, or else, if this is false, else, if this is false, go ahead and execute this segment of PHP code. So you can kind of think of this as the true portion of the if statement, and then this as the false portion. If this isn't true, we're gonna go ahead and execute this portion of the if else statement. So normally before someone codes a complex if statement, they would write it out as I did above in plain English. The next step might be to actually make a correct syntax if statement. For example, I may code the following. And before I do that, I'm just gonna stretch out my text editor a little bit so you can see everything. So I'm gonna write first example one. And below that, I'm gonna write a variable or create a variable called bill paid. And I'm gonna assign to that variable the string yes, end it with a semicolon. And in the comments, I'm gonna say has bill been paid. And I should also point out that the variable bill paid would be set by some other action elsewhere in your PHP code or in another file. If we were really developing a PHP script that monitored someone's phone service payment. But in this tutorial, I'm just showing you the correct way to write a standard if else statement. So in a way, moving on, I'm going to start my if statement, open my parentheses, and I'm going to say if bill paid is equal to the string yes, close my parentheses, open my curly brace, in comments I'm gonna say if user has paid bill. And this just allows me again to quickly know what exactly does this part of the if statement do. Then on a new line I'm gonna say echo, your account is in good standing. And then I'm gonna close my curly brace and then I'm gonna start the else portion of the if else statement. Open my curly brace. In comments, I'm gonna write, if user has not paid bill. On a new line, I'm gonna say echo, your phone will be turned off soon if you do not pay. It's pretty long, but anyway, that'll work. And then I'm gonna close my curly brace. So let's reevaluate what's going on here. So first I created a variable called bill paid and I assigned a string to it called yes and this variable only keeps up whether or not the user has paid the bill or not. So then I come to the if statement and then we evaluate it and we say if bill paid is equal to yes, basically if the person has paid their bill. So I'm comparing the string that's inside this variable which is yes to this string which is yes, so they do match. So this condition is true. So since this is true, we're gonna execute this echo string. 
So let me just go ahead and save this before I continue to explain. And I'm just going to save it as if else dot PHP. Then I'm going to come over here to my browser and I'm going to type localhost the PHP basics and it's called the if else. So when I load that in my browser, as you can see, it displays your account is in good standing. So moving on again, since this condition was true, nothing new here. We go ahead and execute this portion of the if else statement. However, if we change bill paid to no, or if we change it to anything that's different than this string here, I could have it no, or I can put Robert here. But for this example, again, we're just trying to make it as realistic to the real program if we were programming an actual monitoring system. So the next time that we come to this if statement, we're going to evaluate this condition again. And then we're going to see that bill paid is now containing the string no, which is not equal to the string yes. So this time we're not going to execute this portion of the if else statement. We're going to skip this altogether and we're going to go to this else portion of the if else statement and execute this segment of PHP code. So let me just go ahead and save that load it in my browser and let's see what happens. Now hit refresh and as you can see it now displays your phone will be turned off soon if you do not pay. Now I should also point out if it's not clear to some of you all that the PHP code within the if and else segments cannot both be executed. Again, the code within the if segment and the code within the else segment cannot both be executed because the if statement cannot be both true and false at the same time when it is evaluated. The phone service is either in good standing or the phone service will be turned off soon. Those are your only two options. And again, it cannot be both. So that does conclude this tutorial. And hopefully now you have a new or better understanding about PHP if else statements. And be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to ensure that you understand the basic fundamentals for PHP if else statements. And I will see you in the next video.